Did a New Mexico congressional candidate cross the line by challenging her opponent's Native American heritage? Democrats are lashing out at Republican Janice Arnold Jones, claiming she attacked Democrat Deb Holland's identity in a TV interview. News 13's Chris McKee has both sides. Republican Janice Arnold Jones. So I'm asking people to vote for me. And Democrat Deb Holland. Our win is a victory for working people are both fighting to be New Mexico's next congressional representative in D.C. And today, it's what Arnold Jones said on Fox News about Holland that has some Democrats fuming. When a Fox News host said Holland would be the first Native American woman in Congress, Arnold Jones replied, That's what they say. And the host asked Arnold Jones what she meant by that. Well, I would say there's no doubt that her lineage is Laguna, uh, but she is a military brat just like I am. Arnold Jones speaking of Holland's background as a Laguna Pueblo member and how Holland grew up on military bases. And so, I, you know, I think it, it evokes images of that she was raised on a reservation. She belongs to a Pueblo and a wonderful lineage. And, and that confuses me. Holland's campaign is reacting. She thinks that Deb is not Native American because her family moved around um, because her dad was in the military. Deshay Gray says Arnold Jones's comments are offensive. I think her point was just to insult Deb, to strip her of her identity. We asked Arnold Jones over the phone tonight about her comments. I'm flabbergasted that somebody thinks that the facts are offensive. She says it wasn't a knock on Holland's heritage, just commentary on where Holland grew up. Being a military brat, is a really unique type of background. And it doesn't take away anything from your heritage, but it points out that the majority of her youth was not spent here because it couldn't have been. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. Arnold Jones also says her comments came during a conversation about the idea of abolishing immigration and customs enforcement and how she thinks that would harm reservations.